sip cocktails and chat with Kay Miller, the writer and director who launched the careers of Jude Law and James Corden. We sip drinks with the writer and director, 66, then sit down to chat musicals and launching Jude Law and James Corden's careers. Cheers, Kay. What's your favorite tipple? Well, I'm enjoying this one. It has tequila, rum, and passion fruit in it. I also like Cosmopolitans. I'm a Sex in the City fan. Cocktails are my favorite, lethal and lovely at the same time. You've launched many careers including Jude Law on Families and James Corden and Ruth Jones on Fat Friends. Do you keep in touch? I speak to James periodically. I'll see him in the Groucho Club or he'll drop me a line or a Christmas card. He and Ruth wrote Gavin and Stacy on the set of Fat Friends. I wish they'd brought it to me to make it, but I'm so proud of them, and I bask in their glory. Jude doesn't drop me a Christmas card, but blessed his heart. He's got his own super talent. He doesn't need me. Do you ever get offers from Hollywood? I've had a call from Steven Spielberg himself. His company made an American version of the syndicate, and I was very flattered. He asked if I'd ever make a movie with him and I might, but not this year. You often work with your daughters, TV producer Yvonne Frankus, 50, and Emmerdale actress Gaynor Faye, 46. How do you find that? Gaynor wrote a couple of episodes of In the Club when I was stretched, and Yvonne does some producing for me when she is available. It's nice to work with them. Family and friends keep me sane. Your dramas attract huge talent. Do you cast them yourself? Ashley Jensen stars in Love, Lies, and Records and I've had my eye on her for a long time. I've also got Freddie Flintoff in Fat Friends the Musical. My casting director suggested him and I said, are you mad? Can he even act? And he can. When he walks into a room he just lights it up, I was really pleased with him. Fat Friends is your debut stage musical, did you get any good advice from showbiz pals? Andrew Lloyd Webber's son Nicholas is my musical director, and he asked if he could bring his dad to rehearsals. I said, of course, but then realized who his dad was. He came up to me at the end and said, clearly you have a musical here. Now you have to get Jodie Prenger. And she was cast as the lead. How do you spend your downtime? I like to hang out with my family. I never like to be away from them for long periods. I'm a proud grandmother of four and we often all have Sunday lunch together, and I'll do the cooking. How do you stay grounded? I came into this job late, and I didn't go to university until I was 28. I was pregnant with Yvonne when I was 16, and Anthony and I had to get married. We didn't have any money and lived on a council estate. How will you and Anthony celebrate your 50th wedding anniversary this year? We've stayed together because we've worked on our marriage over the years. We've planned a family trip to Hawaii to celebrate, which I'm very excited about, because I've never been before. Love, Lies and Records starts on Thursday, November 16th, 9 p.m., BBC One. Kay wants to write another series of both The Syndicate and In the Club, and is working on a drama about the sex industry. Her cocktail was called I Predict a Riot after Leeds band Kaiser Chiefs 2004 single.